Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another Lincolnshire Fen Crafts video tutorial. Today I am going to be doing um, a tutorial on making hair ears and fox ears. They're basically made in a similar way just with different results. Um, this is my favourite technique. I, I, I've used this for, for quite a few years now and it continues to work really well for whatever style you're doing, whatever size of ears you're doing. So let's just crack on. Okay, what we're going to be using today is um, one of my favourite wools. This is um, Shetland brown wool top or Shetland murret um, it's actually called. Um, I've made another ear here just a little while earlier just to to um, speed up the process but I'm just gonna quickly show you how we can make these ears using really simple techniques. So what you want to do is I, I split a piece of um, wool top in half a little while earlier and so that the ears were basically the same size so you take your, your wool, split it in half, pull it down lengthways and then you know you've got roughly the same amount of wool for each ear. So pop that one that I've made to one side, lay it on your foam or, or your mat, it doesn't matter, um, I use both when I'm doing this, um, lay it on your foam and what we're going to do is we are just going to create um, a nice sort of simple leaf shape within that wool area and we're going to draw it on with our needles. Now I've got two needles here stuck together with tape. Um, if you haven't got any um, felting pens, um, holders, etc, it doesn't matter. Two needles here and you can do it with one as well. I'll start with the one and show you what we do. So decide where you want the top point of your ear to be and then just draw around a very simple leaf shape and bring that round there. One end will be the top, one end will be the bottom of the ear, it doesn't really matter at this point. Leave it as is, pull those sides in, I've got two needles here just for, for speeding it up, and just pull those sides gently in to where you've drawn that line. So pull it in, leave all this loose at the side, go to the other side, pull that over until it stops where you've actually felted that line in and use your needles just to draw that wool over not worrying too much about the shape at the moment because we're just starting to firm it up now by folding those sides in what that does is it gives you a nice clean line um, and gives the ear some nice structure as well so when we actually felt the centre a little more, you've still got a nice little raised area around the ears, gives it a little bit of um, depth. Turn it over, as you can see, and do the same on the other side. Pull those in. So I'm going to keep these quite loose, these ears. I'll show you the way to, to do the other ones after I've done this. And if it's, just pick at your other ear and if it's a little bit wider, just pull those sides in a little bit more. And take that off the foam. Now this bit here is probably going to be the top of my ear. And I'm going to leave that quite like them loose, that rustic look. So I'm just going to twizzle that as is there. Now this is going to actually be attached to the back of the head. You want to leave some loose on because it's much easier when attaching it to the head. But we've got quite a big lump there and we don't want to increase the back of the head, um, the size of it too much. So just at this point, before you start firming it really firmly, uh, really firmly, just pull little bits off and put them to one side. And then carry on felting. Now what I like to do when I'm making ears is I like to use my felting mat. Not necessary at all, but it's just because I have it and I like it. And it works really well. Um, what I also do is, um, if I want to, to preserve the life of your felting mat, um, it's quite a good idea to put a piece of um, nice wool felt just underneath. Um, and that will preserve it for, for much longer. Now again, you can carry on with your, your two needles or your single needle. Um, you can also use this nice wooden holder here that's got three needles in. 
that works really well but when I'm doing ears my absolute favorite favorite tool is the punch tool this if you're doing a lot of ears or you're doing big ears this speeds it up immensely so you just not too much because what you don't want it to do is stick so then just peel it away gently you can see all those fibers pulling off that's why you don't want to over felt before you turn it turn it over move it around the pad and you see how quickly that's actually starting to felt and we're starting to get that nice shape now if you focus in the center what you're doing is you're preserving the integrity of the outside edges so that you maintain that nice soft edge and it's quite neat as well and that is almost one ear done and what we're just going to do now is add some detail so I've got a little bit of white here pop some white in there you can use batting for this as well but I like to use the wool tops for ears um, quite a lot because you get this nice um, rustic look at the end which is quite difficult when you're using batting because it's such short fibres these are nice long fibres this is exactly how I teach um, the ears in my kits as well the instructions um, teach you how to make the ears this way so I put a couple of put, put some dark Jacob sort of black brown in there as well for contrast and you hardly want to felt this at all barely touch it just just so it adheres to the wool underneath barely want to touch that because you want again that nice rustic look at the end and then we want to start to create this shape for the ear now so as you can see so bring bring it in there pinch it together and lay it on its side and you can do this on the foam and take your two needles or your single needle and if you're just felting where, can you see where you've pinched it there it's pinched in you just felt the side flip it over and felt the other side and that's just held it really nicely so now you have a pair of ears that are pretty similar ready to go on to the back of the head. Now what I often like to do as well is to give them even more shape I like to kind of scrunch them up, fold them and just, just scrunch them in your hands, hold it down and if you just do a few pokes with that needle what it will do is it will actually kink the ears and give them a nice a nice shape a little bit more dimension you can have them just big and long and straight if you want but I often do this I just think it adds something extra and then just pull that gently apart and twizzle the ends if they come loose that's the, the lovely thing about this wool top is you can really work with it now what I also like to do is um, I like to attach the ears to each other before I put them on the back of the head because then it's so much easier getting them centered and you can change the positions once you've put them on so I'll quickly show you what I do again when we pinch them together before you do exactly the same again pinch both ears together turn it turn them on their side just push through with your needle either on your foam on your mat turn it over and then you've got a set of ears there ready to go on and you've got this nice loose bit of wool here so that's gonna um, that's going to nicely attach to the back of the head so I'll quickly pop that on just very loosely don't worry about it wagging about just get it attached just till it holds it's still be really floppy but as you can see because we left that wool loose it's now blending in with the head and actually becoming part of the head and that's one of my top tips it just gives it a really nice finish and it um, stops you having to hide any um, joins it just makes life a bit easier you can easily hide the joins wool's so versatile it's easy to work with but for me that just works really well now it's on 
and it's not quite positioned correctly so you can actually push down through that ear so if you push down through the top and what you'll find is that pulls that ear into the head let's get this round here and then obviously that will need a bit more work and then you can pull the ears forward just to felt on a little more so they're actually in position can you see how much easier it was actually having those ears together and there you go easy hair ears Now when you want to do the fox ears, you are going to do exactly the same thing, but it's just a slightly different shape. So again, I'll do, I'll do small ears, split the wool in half so you've got roughly the same amount for each ear. What you can actually do is you can, if you want, if it's too long, you can actually pull it in half again and then just lay it on your foam pad. Exactly the same um, way we did the hair ears, but this time we're just going to do a slightly different shape. So we're going to make a triangular shape. Leaving this bit loose at the bottom, which is where it's going to attach. Again, fold those over. Fold those over. And can you see how we've creating that nice shape and then what you can actually do is you can bring that top bit in if you want a nice neat finish to the top of the um, fox ears just pull that off gently so I'm just going to pop it on my mat exactly the same so I'm going to get the felting um, the punch tool and just use that to Tidy it all up. Now it's a little bit round, so what you might want to do is just get a nice shape. What you can do is spread those fingers apart like so and just use your needle to create that shape. You're just tidying it up. Turn it over. So you're going in straight, almost flat, but not quite. And then what you can actually do is if you want to just pinch the top or even roll the top and you can either felt and fold that over or you can even trim it but um, I will just fold it over again just go back tidy it up again this can all be done with your single needle I am just speeding it up so you don't get bored okay and then again you would pinch in we've got quite a lot of excess here so we'll just pull off these bits let's leave some on to attach the head and then again if you've lost that shape you can just pull it out you can really um with your hands your hands are your best tools let's just Twizzle that over and then tuck it back into the top of the ear. Let's create that point, just use your needle. Okay, so that needs a little bit more work, but as you can see, you get the idea. And then you again pinch it in, turn it over. And there you have, obviously this isn't a fox head, but as you can see, that is going to make a great shape for the fox ear. And you can add some detail in, a little bit of white, you can leave it plain, you can do whatever you want with this. And then you make the second ear and attach them together like you did the hair ears put them somewhere there we go so 
attach the ears together as you did with the hair and then pop them on the back of the fox head and that's my easy ears tutorial thanks for watching